Well, on the Fraction Simplifier app on the Android Market, and I just want to run you through it. Um, this is the first screen you're going to come to when you load the Fraction Simplifier app, and basically it's just you have a numerator and denominator, and you're going to enter a fraction. Basically, we're going to try to simplify that fraction. Let's let's try one out here. Um, so in the numerator in the top box, we're going to let's enter a value, see what we can come up with here. So let's enter 24. And for the denominator, let's enter 36. And um, so you have you entered your values, and you just want to simplify it. So you're just going to hit the simplify button. And as you can see, it simplifies down to two thirds. So from here, if you want to kind of flip flop between the fraction that you simplified and the the simplified fraction that you got, you can hit the undo button, and as you can see, it goes back to 24 over 36. And if you hit simplify again, it'll go back to two thirds, and the undo button will now be enabled. And so this can give you a kind of a feel for what fraction you're coming from, what fraction you simplified. Um, if you want to clear all this out, you can just hit the clear button. Let's try another one. Now say say I enter a fraction that we know is not cannot be simplified. It's like two sevenths, and we hit simplify. All the program is going to do is just say the fraction you have entered is already in simplest form. So you know that 2 sevenths can't be simplified. And that's the first screen you come to. Now there's two other options. There's a decimal option, which I'm going to go to now. So we're just going to go up here and hit decimals. And basically what this does is it will take a decimal and it's going to convert it to a fraction in simplest form. So let's take a decimal. Let's say 0.85. And what we're trying to do is we want that decimal to be converted into a fraction. So if we hit the Convert and Simplify button, we see that 17 over 20 shows up. And that is the equivalent fraction of 0.85. Let's try another one. Let's clear this out. Let's try 0.4. And as you can see, 0.4 is equal to 2 fifths. Okay. Now, what I did was, um, I added, I'm like, well, there's some decimals that are rational, but they don't end. They're repeating. So, let's add a repeating decimal option. So, let's clear this out. So, basically, the way the repeating decimal option works is, all you're going to do is enter the repeating part of the decimal. For example, let's say you had 0.33333. You had three repeating. All you're going to do is enter 0.3. And the three is going to be the repeating part. And then you're going to hit the repeating decimal option box. And when we hit convert and simplify, notice we get one third. We don't get three over ten. Because now we're dealing with a repeating decimal. And if you look under the three in the, in the lower box, you can see 0.3333 dot dot dot, which is basically giving you some feedback. It's saying, was this the, you know, is this the decimal that you were talking about? Yes, it is. That's the repeating decimal you wanted. And yes, it is equal to one third. So let's clear that out. Let's try another one. Let's try 0.84. And again, we're going to keep that repeating decimal option clicked. And then we hit Convert and Simplify. And we get 20 over 33. And a little feedback there. It's saying this is equivalent to 0.84848484 repeating. Okay. Now notice, this is different. 20 over 33 would be different if I uncheck the repeating decimal box. This would be... 0.84 would be 84 over 100, or as we see here, 21 over 25 when I convert and I simplify. Okay, so that's basically how you use that decimal option. And I got a lot of feedback that people were looking for a mixed fraction converter. I got um, a couple a couple people left some really good feedback on the on the uh, application page, and so I uh, I coded that in. And let's take a look at that. So here's the mixed fraction converter and basically all it consists of is a whole number and then a fraction to the right so the, the big box is the whole number and then the two boxes to the right are just the fraction they, the leftover fraction that you have now what you want to do here is you want to select an option are we going to go to, to a mixed fraction or are we, are we going to go to an improper fraction let's try to, the, to mixed first now if you notice when I hit to mixed the whole number box is disabled that's because what we really want to do is enter a fraction and convert it to a mixed fraction. So let's enter a fraction over here. Let's say 11 over 4. 
and let's hit simplify. As you can see, we get two and three fourths. So it did its job. It, it converted that fraction to a mixed fraction. It will also simplify. Let's take something that's more simplifiable. Let's take 14 over. Let's, let's try 18 over 4. Let's see what we get. Okay, we're going to go to next, simplify. And notice we get 4 and 1 half, so even the fraction part was simplified. Okay, so that's that, that's if you want to go from an, uh, a fraction, whether it be a proper fraction or an improper fraction, if you want to convert that to a mixed fraction. Okay, um, let's clear this out and let's try that 2 improper. Now notice 2 improper, uh, the whole number is still there, which we want because we're going we're gonna to enter a mixed fraction and see what happens, okay? So let's enter 2 and 6 eighths. So you've probably done it in your head already, but let's see what we got. This should give us, that should give us, what, 22 over 8, which is uh, simplifiable in itself down to 11 over 4. So we should get 11 over 4, I believe. And we do. We get 11 over 4. Notice the whole number is gone, and it just comes up with 11 over 4. Okay, let's try another one, see what happens here. Um, if we put, say we go 10 over 2. Okay, now it would look, it would be really goofy if it said 5 and 0 halves. So what this thing is going to do, it's going to know that there's um, a 0 in the, in the numerator of the fraction, and I think it's going to just take that into consideration. Oops, oh, I didn't enter. Let's put one in. Okay, yeah, six over one. So that worked as well. Here, let's just try one more. Let's try six and seven fourths and see what we get. And that's going to be an improper. Then we get 31 over four. So that's it, folks. Um, thanks for the feedback. Uh, if there's anything you'd like me to add, or if there's uh, if there's any uh, if there are any kind of uh, issues that you see with the pro the program, let me know. I'm I uh, I take the feedback. I read it quite frequently, so I'm able to kind of make changes and stuff to the program. So let me know what you think and enjoy the program. Thanks for downloading it. Take care.